war. And we have been aware that uh, the detention cell is uh, well equipped and uh, uh, he has been treated uh, humanely and he has uh, access to medical treatment. All these, as they should be, I know that it is significant that uh, I support the ECCC to pr protect the rights of the child person in these proceedings. We know that, and I am convinced that uh, everyone has equal rights before the law. Okay, for these legal protections and measures, I would like the court to really uh, upheld these kind of measures. But why I support provisional detention of Mr. Noon Chia and agree with the position of the co-investigating judges? Because I agree that uh, Mr. Noon Chia uh, needs to be further provisionally detained. Uh, and I agree with the, the co-prosecutors and the co-investigating judges that the conditions in uh, internal rule 63.3 are already satisfied. First, well-founded reason to believe Mr. Nguyen Chia may have committed crimes. Uh, I think in regard to the legal matters, I would like to leave it to the lawyer who will further elaborate this. And I have already observed the submission by the co-prosecutors, and I really support uh, as a victim of the civil party and the other people in general how we feel. Uh, what we know is that uh, Mr. Nguyen Chi once was a senior Khmeru leader, um, uh, the second highest rank from Pol Pot. And in his ruling uh, uh, from 1975 to 1979, 1.7 million people died, including my father, my mother, my auntie, and uncles. And uh, we think that the information we have heard from friends and relatives, they also shared the same information. They lost their loved ones, and I got a lot of friends who lost their loved ones, including their fathers, their mothers in the regime. And uh, in my capacity at my work, I. I been observing this and I've learned a lot that everyone all across the country uh, has uh, lost their loved one. So this is not a coincidence. So everyone uh, across the country has lost uh, the members of the family, which is the killing was a uh, more systematic killing. And uh, Mr. Nguyen Chi uh, claimed that he was not responsible for the uh, regime. Uh, and of course, the country was ruled by the military. Uh, and uh, who was in charge then in the loss of my father, and my mother, and relatives, and their parents, and their relatives? And I have been. I have been informed and told and shared these experiences uh, from everyone. Everyone said that uh, it is more a hell regime. And again, if uh, the court has not got significant uh, proof to uh, uh, sh share with us about the uh, responsibility of the uh, regime, will justice be served? Because everyone know already that their parents and loved one lost in that regime, uh, the Khmeru regime. And in my village, when I was in prison in Bangri, uh, 20,000 people uh, in regard, uh, and the information or the document of uh, the DC came uh, state clearly that 20 people who were in prison in Bangri uh, area were executed. 
the second condition, I think that uh, it is already satisfied that the provision of detention of Mr. Nguyen Chi is necessary. It's necessary to, number one, uh, first, to prevent him from exerting pressure on witnesses or other victims. And I believe that it is uh, true that if uh, he would be released to the, the society, it, it would be a, a high risk because uh, Cambodia uh, is uh, enduring the culture of fear left over by the Khmer regime. And point number two, uh, the further detention is to preserve evidence, uh, to prevent this destruction of evidence. Though I haven't got uh, ample uh, written documents, but with uh, experience, uh, with people uh, sharing experience with people, I know everyone will agree with me. And uh, point number three is to ensure presence of Mr. Nun Chia during these uh, proceedings in this court of the Khmeru. So if, if he were released, then he would abscond. Again, we do not have any written documents to prove it, but he may escape and the risk is high. And uh, point number four is to protect his security, to secure his presence in the court. Uh, uh, he needs to be uh, to present. For me, I don't take a revenge, but uh, for other people who may be who are not very happy with uh, his uh, crime commission would take a revenge. But again, if. Uh, he were released to the society, uh, uh, to his community. There would even causes uh, would cause p uh, public disorder, and I strongly agree w that our society is very fragile. And I do accept that because I've been working in these fields, and. Uh, we have been emotionally uh, affected by this uh, phenomenon and uh, the trauma we have been, uh, we live with trauma. Uh, again, this may, with many triggers yet in society uh, which, which of course uh, make our people uh, intimidated and uh, uh, even just a small thing can make them feel so emotional. Uh, so, so these kind of triggers can uh, reopen the wound of the victims. So I would like to uh, conclude in two points. I haven't got uh, any uh, written ample evidence, but. I strongly support that uh, what we have learned from experiences and that the society is already aware that if uh, the charged person, Mr. Nguyen Chi, were to release, this kind of uh, condition uh, would uh, happen. And as the victims, we have been waiting for 30 years for justice. And uh, we believe that this court will uh, find uh, justice for us. And it is very risky uh, that uh, if uh, the person is or would be released and he does not appear in the court, then we will lose great benefits or the interest for of justice. And yesterday, uh, we uh, there has been a discussion about the benefits of the child person. Of course, the benefits here is the uh, testimony in the real court uh, by Mr. Nguyen Chi. So without his presence, what happened to him, then we will uh, have a great loss. So again, this is uh, a great risk that 
we cannot really uh, afford. So thank you. Uh, uh, my apology, uh, the Social uh, Center of Social Development has published a book uh, on the uh, awareness of traumatization that we can uh, offer to Mr. Nguyen Chi if he may would like or he may want to receive the, the book. So he may have uh, time to read the book if he wishes. That and I am convinced that uh, everyone has equal rights before the law. Okay, for these legal protections and measures, I would like the court to really... Uh, and we have been aware that uh, the detention cell is uh, well equipped and uh, uh, he has been treated uh, humanely and he has uh, access to medical treatment. But, uh, Mr. Nguyen Chi uh, needs to be further provisionally detained, uh, and I agree with the, the co-prosecutors and the co-investigating judges that the conditions in uh, upheld these kind of measures. But why I support provisional detention of Mr. Nguyen Chi? and agree with the position of the co-investigating judges because I agree that all these as they should be. I know that it is significant that uh, I support the ECCC to pr protect the rights of the child person in these proceedings. We know